Okay, but but okay, but what about decline pledges though? You know, I mean, every month some pledges are always denied. So maybe we should wait until uh, we... no fucking shot. Yeah, man. But I, I'm eating a bucket of freeze dried fucking sheetrock here. But, but so I, am I. I will fight you. F- and- okay, fine, fine. All right. So apparently last week I got up to take a shit during the edit, and the next thing I know, I'm obligated to listen to an episode of Be Reasonable and review it on today's show using nothing but compliments. And apparently, even though nobody said anything about this during the unauthorized volunteering last week, listening to it at 20 times speed doesn't count. It does not. Mm -mm. And before I say anything about the episode, I want to say that this show is an absolute masterclass in effective dialogue, and if you haven't listened to it before, despite all the shit that I'm saying now, I would highly recommend it. But if and when you decide to dive into the podcast, be reasonable... Try not to do it after having other people volunteer you to review it in compliments. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we reached out to Marsh and his listeners and ours, and they helped us find the perfect punishtainment for Noah, which would be episode 29, in which Marsh interviews Ian Jacklin. Jacklin is a former kickboxer and actor, best unknown for his role in Kickboxer 3. <laughs> And he runs a website called iCureCancer.com. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. It's also the name of a documentary that he produced and directed. Yes, it is. A couple other fun details about Ian Jacklin. He believes in shape-shifting lizard overlords. Mm -hmm. Nailed it. Believes that jet fuel doesn't burn that hot. And believes he can eliminate your cancer by controlling the pH of your spit. Yes. And uh, Noah listened to this episode. And in addition, each of my colleagues, two of whom sleep where I can get to them, have picked out a few of their favorite clips. So they're going to set up the clips. We'll give it a listen. And then I will react only in compliments. Compliments. (laughs) Yeah. All right. I'm ready. Okay. So this is our first clip. And this is what Ian thinks of vaccinators. Oh, we're just diving right Let's in. Let's listen. Yeah. Right now in California, if I have a kid, I'm not lucky I don't, but if I had a kid and they forced vaccinations, tried to force vaccinations on me, you know, that wouldn't happen. But they're making it so that could happen. If I have a kid in a few years from now, they could have a law in saying that we have to get um, vaccinated or we, we can't even take our kid to school. And there's also some, I think, words about possibly them coming to the house and forcing vaccinations on the children. And that's just straight up Nazism. Straight up Nazism. <laughs> <laughs> like a surf coach. <laughs> so, Noah, complimentary thoughts on that? Um, if most people need steps to get to Godwin's law, but not Ian Jacklin. Way to just dive all the way in there, bro. <laughs> Okay, okay, my turn. This is what he thinks about organic vegetables and the Illuminati. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> the vegetables, back in the 50s, they started dumping pesticides on our foods. The, the Illuminati, the 1%, the the, the people that run the show, they mm. they they knew what to do. They're trying to reduce the population. So they basically well, made can our just food... stop there for one second? Why are they trying sure. to reduce the population? Let's, I just want to try and unpick things I as know, go. that's a great question. <laughs> if you if you ever find one of them, ask them for me. <laughs> okay, so we, we, don't have a good, we don't have a reason for that. It's just something that we, we accept that they're doing. Yeah, well, they said they are. If you look at the Georgia Guidestones, the, you know, it says that they're trying to get the popula- population down to 500,000. Okay, okay, what do you think? The Georgia... Uh... Boy, did he pronounce the shit out of most of those words. He did. <laughs> it's true. He said all of the words with all the syllables. Mm, pretty much. Okay, my turn, my turn. This is, he's not against a challenge, right? This is his challenge to the skeptics. You, you, here's what I want. You get them PhD guys together at a university. Give them 12 patients. Give me 12 patients. You watch who, who has the most at the end of the day. And we won't use any drugs. Well, um, I, I think you'd find it very, very hard to get ethical approval on, the, on, on that study. But, yeah, because uh, they don't want to lose. They don't want to get their ass handed to them. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's one side. The other, the other side is they may be incredibly concerned for the, the well-being of the, the, the 12 who aren't uh, getting treatment. That's getting all like treatment. They, they, mo- they murder thousands every day. Look at the vaccination thing. That's just a scam. Huh? What do you think? You so, take him up on it? <laughs> My cousin's a doctor. I can arrange that. <laughs> Confidence is important. Not, not maybe so much when you're offering to murder people through medical neglect by the dozen generally, but you have to, as, uh, uh, have to admire uh, his... Sit. Bring, bring it in. Yeah, that was a compliment, but you walked it back. Doesn't count. Boy, he sure does change the subject well. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll count that. 
Okay, but um, important to realize that Ian isn't just all talk here. So this is his story of cancer survival and cure. S- sort of. <laughs> this is what I did. I think I had prostate cancer about a year and a half ago because I couldn't hold my pee. My prostate was swelled up. I had a pH of 5, and I thought if Dr. Bernardo was alive, he'd say – if you don't have cancer, you're going to have it, so smarten up. Get on an alkaline diet, which I did. I did a blend fast with vegan only for two months. Got my pH from 5 to 7.4 in about two months, and the peeing issues went away. I made sure I didn't have any you know, um, uh, infections or anything in my bladder. So I basically just got my prostate back healthy by blending and doing all that. Yeah, he was pretty sure he had <laughs> prostate cancer. He was quite cancer. certain <laughs> he had prostate cancer. That's, that it sounds burned real. when he peed. <laughs> um. You know, compared to other people I know with Jacqueline in their names, he's very original. He's coming up with his own but that's just shit. an insult to somebody else, not a yeah. compliment to Ian. I don't, yeah, know, try I don't think again. that counts. Um, boy, is he good at coming up with on-the-spot excuses for why his girlfriend caught him rubbing oil on his taint and then sticking with him long term. Got to admire <laughs> true. I don't need an that. excuse for that. Okay. I just said, go away. <laughs> <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Now, he also has got some thoughts on Andrew Wakefield that oh, you should listen no, to. Oh, hell no, not that part. Oh, come right. on. Send his pick. Send his pick. As far as we're concerned, Andrew Wakefield was right, is right, always will be right. So I don't know about all that other drama in there. So don't hit me with the Andrew Wakefield. It's bullshit. Just look at the numbers. <laughs> come on. What do you think? What do you think? That that one isn't fair. Oh, come on. You know you have something nice to say about endorsing whooping cough and infants. Loyalty is important. Loyalty is important. <laughs> That's true. Okay. That's true. Okay, comedy break. He's moving in with a four-year-old, oh, God, he and is. here's his thoughts on treating coughs or whatever. Who the fuck knows? <laughs> and he, I'll tell you right now, uh, I got a five-year-old that I just started living with, uh, moving into a new situation, and he had. I'm. I didn't go to. The, I don't go to doctors, but I'm pretty sure he had whooping cough and gave it to me. And I had it out of our system within a week with, you know, no one I'm known with the holistic stuff. And all these other kids just walk around for months with that crap. I mean, there's just, I'm sorry, the holistic way is the only way. God put it all there for us, you know. Moving stuff, huh? Uh, <laughs> thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> that his willingness to spend time with people more mentally mature than him is, is admirable, assuming he doesn't accidentally kill them with his stupidity. Is that a compliment? Uh, mm. I don't think that's a compliment. Mm. Nope. Fuck. Okay. Um, hey, Ian, way to reduce the number of potential seat kickers on my next flight to the West Coast, bro. <laughs> yeah, there you go. See, yeah, that's good. That was a hard. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Um, now I want to point out that Marsh closes the episode with this really excellent thought on why people tend to believe in conspiracies and the need for control. It's genuinely moving and empathetic and... Not the clip Noah has to compliment. Instead, this is Ian's response to that. Oh, of all fucking... Okay. I say be open and follow your heart. You cleanse your pineal gland, your third eye. You know, stop the aspartame. Don't drink any sodas. Uh, Don't... I don't know what they do. In in America, they put fluoride in our drinking water the same way they did in the Nazi camps for the the Jews at Auschwitz. Well, for the record, we have no idea what the Nazis did to the Jews in off switch so it was dark maybe there. he's just breaking new historical ground here good for him uh the sarcasm moved to strike i'm not it's sure true. that Fuck counts no. oh okay all right i got a compliment for you marsh is a goddamn saint and deserves all the cookies or biscuits or crumpets or whatever because his simple ability not to reach down the throats of these ridiculous jackasses and rip out their larynxes for the sake of humanity is downright herculean so go <laughs> marsh but You're supposed to compliment Ian. That was the whole... Fuck that. You guys just said compliments. (laughs) Off switch. (laughs) (laughs) 